to your 15 minute intense snatched waist and core. This is going to burn, as you already know, no equipment needed and the structure is going to be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Now, of course, if you want an extra burn, if you want to really, really feel it during the 15 seconds off, if you feel strong enough, you can keep going while I demonstrate the next exercise. We're going to have the music pumping. Teddy is fast asleep, <laughs> setting the zone. Um, and yeah, let's just have some fun with this. So no equipment, I don't tend to use weights when it comes to training core and waist. Occasionally I will, but obviously when I'm doing more compound movements, full body movements, I do use weights and resistance training. This is just the style that I go for, Pilates. It is definitely a burnout, but without the added load, because I feel for me that that keeps it, my waist nice and snatched. Um, it is entirely up to you, you are beautiful just as you are and whatever works for your body you guys. So I hope you are ready for an epic burn, there's going to be a combination of all four layers of the core, we're going as deep as the transversus abdominis which is your deep deep core muscles, we're also working into the obliques but it's going to be a mixture of a little bit of everything, the obliques are the muscles that run around the side. Now I want you to concentrate on your form throughout, okay, so I'm going to be correcting your form, things like imprinting your spine, making sure that your back is nice and flat into the mat, your rib cage is down, you are breathing, you are smiling, and you are enjoying it. Always thinking about pulling that belly button back towards the spine, but again, I'm going to be correcting your form. So before we get started, I want you to roll back into lying, just relaxing the body back, lie into a position that you feel is normal for you, okay? And then from there, I'm going to get you to imprint the spine. So what I mean by that, can you see how there's a gap underneath my back here? You may have that anatomically, you may not. Everyone's body is different, but if you do have that gap, what I want you to do is basically tuck the tailbone under. So from here, tuck under. It will feel like you're lifting your butt. And then from there, take that rib cage down. So I'll show you what I mean. Look at my rib cage. Okay, so we're gonna tuck that tailbone under. And then watch my rib cage, it goes down. Okay and that is a nice, engaged, strong core. The belly button is back towards the spine, the core is nice and tight, have a little cough, <coughs> and you can feel that your stomach is almost braced there, okay? Thinking about that transversus abdominis, if you want more videos like this, you can just search how to activate your core, Lily Sabri. All right, let's get that music pumping, Snacker. This is the new Gymshark, by the way, it is launching tomorrow, Gymshark Whitney Simmons. I will show you more on my Instagram, but honestly, it is beautiful. So, so nice. All right, we're gonna get started in 15 seconds. By the way, it launches 7 p.m. UK time, BST tomorrow. We are starting in 10 seconds. All righty, bring both legs up for me into double leg tabletop. The spine is imprinted. Bring that upper body up, and we're gonna start off by taking the foot down into scissors, then straightening it out. Lift, lower, back in. Good, keep that core really tight. Look forward for me, and the chin is tucked towards the chest. If the neck sore, support the head or take the head down. Just keep that lower back flat in the mat and core nice and tight. Okay, if you want to, you keep going. Otherwise, you stop for a break. This is technically your break, okay? Reverse crunch, we 
rotate the body, flutter kick for four. Lower for eight and back up again, like so. 
last five exercises. Can you please let us know if you can hear me? Five, four, three, two, one. Changing legs. Can you hear us, you guys? Ten seconds.
<laughs> we're just taken off. Okay, I thought 15 minutes would be easy from Nora. You should know that by now, my love. My workouts are never easy. Even if they're four minutes long, they are never easy. Okay, uh, don't worry, it's okay from Makeup Wings. Thank you so much, Gorg. Um, Lily, have you been to Australia? Yes, and I love it. It's one of my favorite countries, quite literally, in the whole world. I think it is freaking beautiful, um, and my dream is to live there one day, but we shall see. Um, will we have student discounts from Savita? This is something we're working on, actually. I put up a post yesterday on Instagram and also on in my Facebook group, um, because I know a lot of university, college in the US students are going back right now or about to go back. Um, and I was having a little brainstorm with the team. I was trying to remember back to, oh my gosh, I started uni like nearly 15 years ago. Well, is it 15 years ago, 10 years ago? Um, and I was trying to remember back, honestly, I think it was the most unfit I've ever been in my life. Like I was eating takeaway pizzas, kebabs, I was spotty, I definitely put on some weight, then I probably lost some weight, but I just wasn't healthy at all. And that's because, you know, the uni lifestyle, the college lifestyle can lure you in to be unhealthy because actually a lot of the time being unhealthy is cheaper than being healthy. So we were thinking about how can we cater to our student audience? And so we're hoping, keep looking at Teddy fast to see, to be able to offer a discount for students on the app, which will give you like a permanent discounted student rate. And so if that's something you guys would want, please let me know. And it will be a huge investment for us, for the team, because we'll have to build some software for it. So we're basically trying to work out if that would make it affordable for you. Say for example, it was a 25% discount, would it then be affordable for you guys? Um, and then if it's worth us investing all of the team's effort, time and money into building this software. So please let us know if it would make it affordable for our student market. Also, we'd look to then put student meals, like budget friendly, uh, time friendly, like 10, 15 minute easy meals on the app as well for students and for everyone to be honest. Okay, um, is over exercising a thing? Uh, you so love you so much. You're amazing. Oh, thank you. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Divja. I hope I said that right. Yes, over exercising is a thing. It's one hundred percent necessary to listen to your body. Um, the reason why the guides on the app are so good is because it follows a structure. The maximum you'll ever work out there is six times a week. I'll always give you a day off. However, for most people, they're going to be working out three, four, five times a week. But please listen to your body. Please rest. Please do your active recovery, your stretching, potentially your foam rolling. Is that something you guys would want to see? Like a tutorial on foam rolling, potentially? But yes, rest is so important, not only for your physical health, for your mental health, but also for you to get results. You need to rest. It's so important. And make sure you're having enough protein and a good balanced diet. Um, where are the shoes from? These are from Puma, actually. Outfit, honestly, I wish you guys could feel it. It's like soft as brick and butter. It is so beautiful. Also, I think my face is very red. I've had a laser peel done, um, so it's like flaking off and very red. So for once, it's not red like from burpees and jump squats and stuff, it's just red. Um, but yeah, this is launching tomorrow, plus so many other colorways. I'm gonna do like a little mini haul on my Instagram for you. It's the Gymshark Whitney Simmons range, and it is, again, she's just delivered. Like they are great. I would say on the bras, I'm wearing a small, and for cardio, I would probably want an extra small, actually, because I like really tight. The leggings are perfect in the small, but that's just my opinion on it. Um, I would size down on this. Uh, how can you eat 2,400 calories a day? I think I'm probably on about 2,600 calories a day, maybe, maybe higher. Um, I think my meal plan, let's have a look right now. So on the app, uno momento, my meal plan is on 2,600 and 45 calories. And to prove to you, this is my meal plan. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm hoping you can see that, but that's the proof right there. 2,645 calories is how many calories I'm eating a day. Um, the app works it out for you incredibly specifically. We work with the most incredible sports nutritionist. He is qualified, he's certified, um, and is to work out what the calories are that we recommend for you and your body specifically based on your age, your, bite, uh, your, age, your weight, your height, your activity levels, and your goals. 
Um, so as I said to you just literally a minute ago, this is launching tomorrow, 7 p.m. BST, which is UK time, by the way. I don't know when BST is changing, because that's British summertime, and I feel like we're moving out of British summertime if you even had a summer in UK. I love you guys, I'm from the UK, and I know what summer's like. Uh, do you have any questions about the outfit, by the way? Um, all right. What breed is your dog? He is a toy poodle, and he is the best. Um, when are the lean bands going to be back in stock, Ella? Uh, I actually, so all of the lean bands are in stock apart from the two adjustable bands, I believe. So just the adjustable band in aqua and the adjustable band in black is out of stock. I don't know when they're going to be back in stock, but as soon as I know, I will let you know. For those of my girls who are watching in America, which won't be here right now in the United States of America, because you are probably asleep, um, we have some big news coming for you in terms of the supplements and all of that stuff as well. So keep your eyes peeled. I tend to do most of my announcements first on Instagram because it's easier because I'm on there every day, whereas here I'm obviously only on here like maybe two times a week. Um, so yeah, that will be coming there. Please come to Germany. It is a dream. I haven't been to Germany since school and I was about 13, I think, so a long time ago. Um, how many calories are you burning with this type of workout? I never tell you how many calories you're burning, guys. Um, I know sometimes people put it on videos. The reason why I don't tell you that is because it is so different per body. Every single person will burn a different type, amount of calories with the exact same workout, okay? So it's super important that it's specific to you. That's why watch trackers are really, really good because uh, they're based on you, your weight, your height, your size, your activity levels. Uh, there's so much science behind it, so that's why I, I don't tell you that stuff. Um, how many videos should I do a day? So if you are on the app, it will give you the option. So it starts off at a minimum of 30 minutes a day, and then you can turn on and off the finishers and the activation. So it can take it up to like an hour a day. Honestly, it is totally dependent on you, your goals, your time available, your happiness, your energy levels. There is so much to consider. But yeah, the, the guides on the app are incredibly structured and they will give you the exact workouts that I recommend you do to achieve your specific goals that you input into the app. So when you join the app, you're going to tell us what your goals are, what your weight, what your height is, what your meal preferences are, so many different things, and then we generate a personalized guide for you. Now, if you want to try the other guides on the app, that's absolutely fine. If it's not the one you've been recommended or you finish that one, you want to try other ones. There's four available on there, so there's four months of workouts on there. There's so much and so much more. Um, basically, you just input the amount of days you want to work out per week, and then it will generate that guide for you, and you can turn on and off the finishers depending on how much time you have available. Um, how old are you and when did you start working out? I am 32. I have been active physically probably from like age six. <laughs> um, I think I was doing swimming lessons at probably like age five, age six. Um, when I probably turned about 11, so secondary school, I was competing um, in dance, in athletics, in swimming, in tennis. I have always been really, really, really active. I was talking about this on Instagram stories yesterday. The thing that I'm dreadful at, like absolutely dreadful, is gymnastics. I'm so bad, I can't even do a forward roll. Um, I'm really tall and I think that doesn't help. I'm very gangly. Um, but yeah, I've always been active. I've always loved the feeling that being fit and healthy gives me. I've never been like obsessive with it. It's always been like, <clears throat> how fast can I be? How strong can I be? Can I win the race rather than can I get slimmer or can I this, can I that? Like it's always been about performance and the love of fitness and health. Um, so yeah, I really hope that helps you guys. Like if there's any advice I can give you, just find something that you enjoy, find something that fills your soul and makes you feel happy and energized and amazing, like you can conquer the day. And you know, exercise and fitness and moving your body should never, ever, 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 ever be a punish punishment. It's a celebration of what your body can do. And I really, really hope that helps like from a mental perspective as well as physical. And um, right, guys, I'm gonna quickly run and show you just a few of the other colors give me 10 seconds and i'm going to show you a few of the other colors that are launching tomorrow they are so beautiful okay we have no idea because the screen isn't properly working if you can see 
um, but I'm hoping this is like a good level for you. So this is the beautiful yellow. Uh, the blue is one of my favorites, I have to say. The yellow is probably my second favorite. I think it is stunning, it is so happy. Brown is something that I'm wearing a lot of at the moment. It is absolutely beautiful there. And the bras are just so flattering. As I said, I would probably size down. I would go an extra small, but I have quite a small like rib cage. So it's totally dependent on what feels comfortable on your body. My sister, honestly, like she's probably smaller here than me, but she prefers bigger. So it's totally dependent on what you feel finds comfortable. Look at that scrunch bum. So freaking cute. And this pink, it's kind of a hot pink, but it's also got a bit of baby pink to it as well. It's like a combination. And then this, I would say, is a staple. It's, it's a grey, but with a hint of green in it, is the best way of describing it. And there's shorts, there's leggings, there's different styles of bra tops. Look at that. Look how cute that is. I love that. That little bit longer, so it covers your stomach, but gives that little bit of waist as well, which is really good, by the way, for that illusion of the hourglass shape. So yeah, a lot of it comes down to like knowing what kind of works on your body and what you feel comfortable in and confident in. That's the most important thing. Right, Ted. Mm. Wanna say goodbye to everyone, baby? No? Cute is he? Come here. I missed you so much. I really did. We've had so many cuddles. Oh, we've got a flat face from lying. Okay, guys. Can you see my little boy? We love you so much. Thank you for joining. Thank you for your patience. I know that was very frustrating. Um, but we are going to keep this work out here because I think it was fun to show my mining techniques. Right, guys? I love you so much. And I will see you next week for another one. Well done. Thank you.